And so I did all this research on George Washington and Martha, and I discovered that Martha had freed her slaves before she died. And I thought, huh, that's, that's, that's very progressive of Martha. And <laughs> I was like, so what, you, what can you think about that? It's a weird thing to sort of confront yeah. in American history. Like, how nice that you freed these people that you shouldn't have owned to begin with. Yeah. And um, I did a little more digging and I discovered that she freed them because she was kind of nervous that they might try to kill her because they knew that when she died, they would be free. The productions I've seen, it feels like you're walking through a house of mirrors where things that you think you recognize are distorted in some way. Like you think you understand who Washington is, or Martha for that matter, or slavery. And then the play um, refracts or bends those things. And then something very, very contemporary sort of suddenly is present and you have to like confront that. A lot of my plays dabble in horror because I'm afraid of horror movies. Like I won't watch them, but I've watched enough to know what they do. And so there's elements of that because it's something that I, I, I viscerally have a response to that, that's very scary to me, um, that I feel like the play is playing with, even in the comedy, even in the humor. And I'm, re you know, I'm excited to work with Whitney um, because I think her imagination of it is even different from what I've experienced. So I'm really excited for that. My guess is that it's gonna, it's gonna create an, an event that is gonna cause people to really be talking to each other. Like everybody in that play is impressed in some way, even Martha, um, in that moment in time. And so we're constantly trying to negotiate who gets to be a part of, of freedom. <laughs> And that's ongoing. We're, we're having a very different conversation about it right now, but it's the same question. Like, who gets to have freedom and what that means?